testimonial. In the 29th year, my mind matured to the point that I could hear sounds and see things as though they were visions. The occasion, death. If like people it took breath, or as leaves the stones exhaled water, then that was important and meaningless. I began to include the insights on acid. By those truths, lies became as useful as those absolutes I once thought I could never smile at compassionately. My capacity for belief increased as my number of beliefs diminished. Finally, the trees popped or were cannibalized and I sat down drunk on the curb with my feet ankle deep in the petals that blew up and gathered there. Two years earlier on hearing the diagnosis was leukemia, I lay down on the linoleum and saw a door shut on what is. The distinction between that and hallucination became irrelevant. The nervous doctor was an oil painting. When I walked outside, the plants in the sunlight were extremely vivid and the people walking in and out of Woolworths were as clear as angels in an icon. Only two choices to stress, war or relax. Nothing made sense but each entity's hunger to be what it is and to thrive until it suffers the heart attack, heart attack of the ice cake or the carnation, the two speeds. I walked through the people and saw they were like fresh-born animals before they can open their eyes to discover that the source of the milk of kindness is always moving. Nothing mattered, therefore, but the ambivalence of accurate illusions, art. I saw that events had emotional skeletons and that the worms could be lured out of substance and that thoughts had the sad psychological flesh of things with faces. Two years have passed. Is she still alive? I care so much, I don't care anymore. Hello, hello. Goodbye, goodbye.